To Haiti now, where the capital, Port-au-Prince, is seeing an uptick in violence after days of relative calm. A fire broke out inside the national prison, while a powerful gang leader threatened politicians who are scrambling to form a new leadership. Haiti's political crisis spiralled out of control after armed gangs launched a rebellion against the government. They raided prisons, releasing thousands of inmates. And Prime Minister Ariel Henry has agreed to step down once a new transitional council is formed. Well, meanwhile, the United Nations has announced that it will reorganise its staff in Haiti as the crisis deepens there. It is somewhat a reduction of the footprint, but more importantly, it's a rejiggering of the configuration of people. So some people who don't need to be physically in Haiti uh, are being moved to the Dominican Republic to work uh, remotely. Others who have uh, specializations that are more needed, notably on, uh, on humanitarian crisis and, and coordination, are coming in. Well, joining me now from Port-au-Prince is journalist Harold Isaac. It's good to have you with us here on DW News. If you could just first bring us up to speed on the security situation around where you are. Well, it's uh, a bit of a tense night uh, as several neighborhoods are um, reporting uh, acts of violence that are uh, resuming uh, after uh, an intense two weeks and a little bit of a reprieve in the beginning of the week. Uh, so it's unclear how the night will unfold as the, the the political situation remains complicated and that there is no clear path forward, especially with regards to the Council of uh, Presidents that we're expecting to have anytime soon. I want to touch on the situation on the Transitional Council in a moment, but there's also been some movement on the diplomatic front. Who has left and who's still there? So um, various uh, diplomatic representations have decided to curtail uh, their presence in Haiti, reduce their, their footprint, as they, uh, they stated. Um, and that includes the, the Canadian uh, representation. Um, the French uh, have uh, reported um, uh, reducing activities. Um, the U.S. Have, have, have transferred personnel. And the German representation has left uh, yesterday uh, to, the, to the Dominican Republic, where um, there's going to be a hub of sorts for operations towards Haiti. Sure. So what is currently happening and what's the status on this transitional council that's supposed to be moving the situation forward? Well, that's what it's expected from them, but the reality is uh, more complicated uh, because the, um, there are, has been six names out of seven that have been submitted to the CARICOM um, uh, for, the, for the people that will be part of, of that council, but there's still names, there's still feuds between uh, representatives that want to also integrate it. And you have other voices um, in the country that are against uh, this uh, formula that will be experimented with uh, on, on the country in the coming 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 days. And how do the people of Haiti feel about this transition process? Well, it's unclear really at this point because it is uh, it has been a very complex complicated situation since the assassination of President Jovenel Moise in July of 2021 and a replacement of, of his not only um, role in his persona, but the renewal of the institutions has been very, very challenging in Haiti uh, ever since. Now that we are at the height of the crisis and we've never reached such a low, um, it seems even more daunting to have uh, such a solution implemented in such a short time. Uh, so people really are not having the highest hopes with regards to, to that structure. So what does this all mean now for the daily lives of Haitians? Just paint a picture for us in terms of how desperate the humanitarian situation is at, the, at present. Well, we did have a little bit of a reprieve at the beginning of the week for the uh, first few days of the week. But now, as at least three of uh, UN, main UN agencies have warned, uh, Haiti is in a very dire situation. You have the IOM, for instance, uh, the International Office of Migration, that said that over 15,000 people have been displaced by violence only in the last two weeks. And you have the WFP and UNICEF who are warning that nearly um, 
a good a good part of the population of the metropolitan area of Port-au-Prince are facing famine-like conditions, in addition to about half of the population of Haiti being in a dire situation in terms of, of hunger. All right, that is Harold Isaac speaking to us from Port-au-Prince. Thank you very much indeed.